Oh, come on, really? What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and yes, as you see in the title and the thumbnail and everything else, I was able to get my hands on an Adventure Force Nexus Pro. Now, before we get started, I do have to give a big shout out to my friend Ballistic Joe for not just finding these, but then giving me the heads up that he found them and grabbing one for me. So, Joe, again, thank you so much for grabbing this for me. I really do appreciate it. Now, where you are able to find the Adventure Force Nexus Pros is exclusively at Walmart because Adventure Force is their thing. Uh, these can be found either on their website or unlike certain things like the Liberator, you can actually pick these up in store. Although I think the Liberator may actually be going in stores uh, later this summer, I think possibly, I'm not sure. Anyway, yes, you can actually pick this up in a Walmart store if they happen to have the stock for 50 US dollars. That is crazy. Now, for this particular review, I'm gonna kind of follow the format that I did with my Dart Zone, uh, the Dart Zone Pro, I should say. We're gonna do the FPS test. We're gonna go to the workbench where I will go over the aesthetics a lot more in depth and close up. We will also be opening this one up actually and not just as a afterthought because the spring because the trigger spring but yes this is getting opened regardless and then once all that is said and done i am going to give you my final thoughts on this blaster but first things first let's go get some numbers on this thing okay so we're going to be testing the fps for the nexus pro right now we're gonna just be doing half length darts i'm not doing the full length darts for two reasons one I'm not 100% sure anyone actually cares what this is actually hitting with full length darts. But if you do, let me know in the comments down below and I will pin a comment with what the FPS claim or my FPS readings are with this. The other reason why I'm not doing this is because I actually don't know where all of my, my full length darts are. I've fired the majority of them down range or down at the other end of the garage and I kind of have to go find them. So that's the other reason, but I have five Adventure Force half-length darts loaded in here, and I'm not going to be testing bamboo darts because they're almost near identical. I kind of tried to get a, an idea of it beforehand, and they were shooting pretty much on par. So what you're getting out of these is what you're going to be getting out of bamboo darts out of this. Uh, I do have, though, here a Talon Mag that has five, a, yeah, five Gen 3 worker darts and five Gen 2 worker darts to see how well this does actually play with, you know, others. So, first up are the Adventure Force Half-Link darts. We'll dip that. That's not bad. So, and it's definitely going over the 125 claim that it was saying before. So, going to quick reset the Saturnus and then I'm going to do the Gen 3 darts. Right. Gen 3s. Not bad. Oh yeah, there's a thunderstorm going on right now. Um, okay, so that seems wildly inconsistent, but uh, just going to do a quick reset and then we'll see what the Gen 2s are doing. All right, Gen 2 time. Okay, it was definitely getting lower than the Adventure Force starts, but at least those were consistent. I have no idea what was going on with the Gen 3s. Those were just 
very all over the place numbers which was odd because those are supposed to be the better darts but oh well but we have those numbers now let's go over to the workbench and get a closer look at this and also open this bad boy up okay so here it is in all of its glory but before we get to this i want to talk about the fun stuff that it comes with namely the accessories so first thing that this actually comes with which i really didn't showcase in the fps test because again it's like this is the last one i have left but the darts it comes with are you get 12 of these full length darts and 12 of the adventure force half length darts now these are readily replaceable because besides finding this in walmart you can also find 100 packs of these for 10 bucks don't know about refills on these yet but in order to use those you need something to hold them with so that they load properly well it comes with instead of and i'm not gonna i'm going to strongly try not to make any major comparisons between the nexus pro and the dart zone pro i will make a few right now but i'm actually going to reserve like a kind of like a one-to-one -one for an actual separate video but it comes with a 12 round clip surprisingly enough the dart zone pro came with 15 round magazines this comes with 12 you get a 12 round full length clip and there's nothing special about it. It's a full length clip. You get a 12 round half length clip, which I want to say, I believe this is the shortest half length magazine currently in or on market. Because I think most half length darts made by either uh, Jet or worker or even 3d printed are usually about 15 rounds each so i could be very wrong on that if i am please let me know in the comment below but i know my talon mags are 15 rounds i know the katana mags are 15 rounds the dart zone pro came with a 15 round clip but i guess you know for whatever reason they decided to knock this to 12 but there's nothing really remarkable about this clip. What is remarkable is the adapter that it uses. This thing. What is great about this is, as you saw in my uh, FPS testing just moments ago, it takes Katana magazines, I'm sorry, Talon magazines, and also Katana magazines, so yeah, it just happens to be I called this thing the wrong thing. But it takes third-party clips natively you don't have to mod this thing or anything it it works and you can even see down here I'm sorry. there we go you can act, i'm bad at that sorry but you can see down there that there are two clips in the magazine because if i'm if i am fairly positive on this the katana mags have their clips a little lower which usually don't make them cross compatible with talon mags but because this has two clips you're able to use whichever magazines you need to which is beautiful now funny enough while this is pretty much a universal magazine it actually doesn't work with dart zone pro clips because for some reason well first things first i'm going to show that here i have the 15 round dart zone clip this is the nexus pro adapter and yeah it doesn't take its own magazine i personally think that's kind of hilarious but the other funny thing is, in turn, this doesn't take the Nexus mags. It goes in, but it comes right out. Now, another 
funny thing is when they made these ones, and I didn't actually notice this until I tried to see do they work with this one, but this adapter, you can kind of see it right there, has these two extra little lips right there on both of the clips. And because of that, it doesn't work with the Nexus Pro. So, I just happen to think that was just stupidly funny, but and I wanted to show that, so. Okay, now we're moving on to the actual blaster itself. Now, this is basically everything you get for it, besides, obviously, the clips I just showed you. You get a pump grip, which is actually already installed onto the blaster. You get a muzzle brake, which you do have to install yourself, but it's easy, it's twist fit, it comes right on and off. So, and the good thing about it, just while we're talking about it, is this size of a barrel is actually the same diameter barrel used in uh, barrel extensions on standard Nerf products. So I took my, I took the uh, barrel out of my Retaliator's extended barrel and just to see if it could dry fit into there and it does no problem. So if you ever wanted to swap out this muzzle with like a worker one, like one of those really cool fancy metal ones, uh, you can definitely do that very easily. So that's, you know, it just shows the, the customize the customizability of this is already starting to show its its uh, colors. Now, up here you do get a Picatinny, you do get Picatinny rails, and they are. Uh, and sorry, just small brain fart right there, but you do get two sights with it. Uh, you get a front sight here and a flip sight here. Now, I will say this and. This is not a any kind of like a knock or a dig or anything like that, but just a sheer observation. This thing is built very, very solidly. And it's going to sound stupid. But I swear, this site is most probably the cheapest feeling thing on this blaster bar none. For two reasons. One, they capped it so it actually can only, it literally can only go there. Which, I think these sites, that's the way they're supposed to work. I don't know. I don't deal with, like, you know, real steel stuff or airsoft or anything like that. But, you cannot move this anywhere else on the rail. And, this was actually kind of stiff. The first time I tried to lift, I tried to flip that up, it got stuck and I thought this was going to snap in half. No lie. Um, but, it is what it is, and I'll be honest, these probably are not going to stay on here. Um, I have the glow sight on my Dart Zone Pro, so I have the Dart Zone Pro sights just hanging around, so more likely than not, they're going to go on here. Now, moving along to the back, you get the stock attachment, which is a M4 buffer tube style stock. So, this is your stock attachment point much bigger than I think most of us are kind of used to. That's what she said. <laughs> but it's, it is a great, it's a great solid, solid stock. Like it's not going anywhere, which is really good. And what you want in a stock. Um, but it slides right off. And if you don't like this minimalist version of it, anything, I think that works with an M4 buffer tube, will work with a replacement here. So if you want to up your stock game, you'll be more than able to do so. Now, looking at the details of this blaster, you can see it's very plain Jane, and that's on both sides. Like, there is zero paint on this thing. It's all just different plastics, because if you notice here, these little white uh, panels, they are, they at least feel like separate panels. Now, I'm not going to know until we actually open this up if they are actually removable or not, but I can definitely tell that these are not part of this original shell. So, 
the handle looks like it is separate the stock obviously your priming grip um your priming foregrip that is it's those are all its own pieces and the body itself is just basically a blank slate an orange blank slate but a blank slate nonetheless so that's going to be really this is going to be really fun to actually work on because yes i am going to mod this myself so that will be another video that is going to be on this so keep your eyes out for that one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up i'm going to do that off camera because i don't like just sitting here unscrewing things and you all watching board so I'm going to have this unscrewed now. Okay, so I have unscrewed everything except for one because I wanted to show how easy this thing is going to be mod for some people. This final screw over here is holding this orange cap on. When you unscrew it, this is when the magic happens. You have to turn it, and that's your spring. You want to swap this out? Watch. Ta-da! That's how easy this thing is going to be to mod for some people. So that is crazy insane oh this is part of the 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 i want to say i think it's the spring guide but it's fine if it comes out it comes out you can just put it right back where it goes now you besides the normal phillips screwdriver you will need a flathead screwdriver for the two tabs that are on top of the buffer tube Oh, and just for a little bit of clarification, all the screws are the same size, which just goes to prove how much Dart Zone really, really does love us. <laughs> so, to pop off these tabs, you just take your screwdriver, slide it underneath. These are actually fairly easy tabs to kind of pop. So, once, and I, as I say that, now it's going to make me look like a blatant, terrible liar. But once you get the clips open, you're able to take the top out. And here we go. The internals of, damn trigger, I, I have no luck with the trigger springs. The internals of the Nexus Pro. And just for a little bit of look, yes, that white piece is a separate thing so you can definitely pop these out um from the tabs it looks like it probably would be kind of easy you do have these little kind of notches right right above them um if those bend off i think it's going to be it's not going to be a major issue so if those happen to break while you're trying to open this when you're trying to take that out that's fine just make sure that orange tab doesn't break because if that breaks then you're kind of sol but and also the front piece looks like it will come off as well and that's just a couple of clips right there so yeah this is really really very simple to work with here you have your slide here which just runs along the metal inner tube and which connects directly to your breech and you will notice there is an o-ring on there i did forget to mention this before but god forbid that ever starts failing on you you actually have two emergency o-rings on your stock so hey there you go so you have what i believe this is a i want to say i believe this is a trigger lock of some kind uh to prevent you from slam firing i am not a hundred percent sure um i'm leaving mine in place so as to not really disturb anything because if anything broke don't fix it but 
you know, I'm sure somebody will be able to correct me in the uh, comments on whether or not that would be okay to remove. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Now I know what this thing is. This is actually your D primer because you notice here there's a little bit of a, there is a um, black button that actually sits in your rail on top. That's actually a D primer. So if you ever get a jam or something, that's how you're actually going to D prime the thing. So that's actually really neat. Okay. So yeah. You have a couple of screws holding things into place. Like, I believe this is the trigger lock. Um, well, no, I'm sorry. That is actually part of the... That's actually the trigger. Under here is a trigger lock. Um, but, yeah, that... And also, you do have a safety. I did go ahead and I tried to swap out my safety so that see if it would work with it or not, but... This one is actually designed differently than the Dart Zone Pro. So if you do what I did, it real and you have to like cut down the sides for it, you're basically disabling the safety at that point. So but you know what? I don't care. I don't use the safeties anyway. So yeah, these are the internals of this thing. It's honestly really stupid. It's stupid simple. Um you should be able to kind of swap these out if need be uh, fairly easily that tip comes off and yeah barrel just comes right out and this just looks like it's a standard aluminum barrel almost um, I'd have to compare it to my uh, Dart Zone Pro to like really kind of get a feel on it but yeah this really just looks like a standard aluminum barrel so and if that's the case I'm sure uh, swapping these out with like a worker barrel or something like that probably would actually benefit this thing a bit if I would if I would say so myself so but that's yeah that's the internals of this thing so let me get this buttoned up and I will see you in a moment to give you my final thoughts Okay, so my final thoughts on the Adventure Force Nexus Pro. This thing is awesome. It really is. I mean, just starting off with the price point, it's $50. I mean, that's it's a good deal. It's a good price, especially for what this thing is offering right out of the box. Plus that you get a very customizable blaster as well. You don't have to rely on end strike attachment points. Will this or won't this fit and all that stuff. You have Picatinny rails and an M4 buffer tube. And anything that fits on those, you should be able to get to work on this. So that is right off really, really cool. It's also a great entry level blaster. So if you're fairly new to the hobby, this is something that would be a great pickup because it's not a heavy investment you're still getting something right out of the box that works really well and is also pretty easy to just do very a very simple spring swap mod and you're getting very competitive numbers out of it uh, but with that being said this is also a what will be the new sleeper because you swap that spring out no one's really obviously going to be able to tell and you're looking at this and then you have to say to yourself does that hit 130 or is that hitting like over 180 so it, it's interesting i will definitely give you that but besides being a great entry level blaster i can see even seasoned modders having a lot of fun with this because you know the internals are really very basic that you can start do i mean people are already starting to make 3d printed kits for this thing for christ's sakes so you already have kits you know you already have body kits coming out for it i've already seen people swapping this barrel out for other barrels so that they're more optimized or work with worker darts better than the adventure force darts and 
like so many other things coming out it it, it honestly i can see this being the springer version of the strife where everyone's going to want one everyone's going to have their own little twist on it and it's it's going to be interesting it really is because i definitely see a lot of potential with this especially with our community so that being said this i definitely highly highly recommend but i'm even going to go one step further and say that this is actually a must buy now i've been doing this for a long time now i don't think i've ever done a review where i've said this is a must buy and if so it's a very very rare occasion if not i'm sure somebody will probably contradict me in the comments below but as far as my horrible memory goes i've never a must buy is far and few between this is a must buy for 50 bucks for what it can do out of the box and for the potential that this thing has I mean, I what else is there to say about it? So, with that said, that's where I'm going to end it for this video. And, as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Nexus Pro. Do you plan on getting one? Do you have one already? And if so, what are you going to do to it? Or what have you done to it already? Please let me know. I love reading all the comments. And, ooh! Don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.